All right. Uh, I, I we'll get to some twins here. I do I do feel a little bad. You know, Declan moved to the suburbs. Lives mm-hmm. in Woodbury now, and we did we did cheat on Declan in his old Northwood neighborhood <laughs> oh. last night. Very well, Declan's out in the suburbs. He's trying to figure out this internet situation. Uh, mm-hmm. We got yeah, well, yeah. J- JD, but JD Hoyts <laughs> is calling. Let's, let's sorry, let's, Dex. Let's tell the truth here. We waited till he moved to the suburbs before we planned it. <laughs> <laughs> let's, inc- yeah, let's encourage the old Dex to uh, blame the internet. Fig- yeah, figure Dex out the internet. What am I doing at home? Yeah, no, not doing spurned, anything. No, we I tried to send Declan an email to invite him, but he didn't get yeah, it because he doesn't know. So. Internet problems. That's not our fault. That's your fault. Unbelievable. You would have been disappointed, though, Declan. Nobody went for the pork chops. We all ate other stuff. It was. Wow. Uh, we we just we're old and we can't eat like we used to. It's, uh, it's this is very, yeah, this is this is not a dark star uh, J D Hoyt's ad, but I am going to promote the the uh, crab cake encrusted <laughs> halibut. You know, Ooh, so it's a, it's a massive halibut fillet, and then it's encrusted literally in a crab cake. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> God, <dang. laughs> yeah, it looked pretty good. Sign me up. I had to fish. I had to finish my fish sandwich. As my night night side nighttime snack last yeah, night. Oh, that's what I did last night. Oh, good. you guys ate the rest of your food right, right at night. Home? Oh, oh God, yes. Was calling me. Hey, as an I old ate, ball rider, the, the, the Cajun hash went down. As an old bed. ball rider, you can't beat that two thirty a.m. meal right before you dr- <laughs> after, you go out and drink. <laughs> then you get something to eat and take it back to your hotel room at two thirty in the morning after uh, having twelve, fourteen gin and tonics. It's it's really good for the diet, man. It's wonderful. Can oh, we yes. bring can we bring back with Royce the Dark Star ad though? That's my can score north to the JD Hoyt's video. Hoyt. It's a, a hundred, hundred steps. Yeah, hundred. <laughs> yes, for some reason we only saw the first four and the last four. We yep. didn't see the ninety two in between. Ninety seven. 98, 98 or the 99 yeah the car, the car ride right to the ballpark <laughs> <laughs> yeah those were uh, those were fantastic ads he was the greatest uh greatest salesman of all time for yeah. stuff unfortunately uh, his his business partner so on the sports show sometimes sometimes the the payment ended up you know I, well, one of their deals was with the uh the when they made the grand hotel uh, they you know that hotel in the old place downtown. One of their deals was with that, and turns out the price for that ad was Dark being able to park in front of the building whenever he wanted to to go to the WCCO <laughs> next door. That was that was the that was Maxie's Maxie's uh, Maxie didn't get any money out of that one. So, yeah. Unbelievable. So, all right, let's uh, let's get to some twins here. So, Carlos Correa still not placed on the injured list, but I'm sure that'll happen here in the next day. So it's, mm-hmm. apparently it's uh, according to John Shipley. Well, by the way, John, I used to cover the beat. John Shipley was mm. was uh, was at the yeah. Pioneer Press. I love John Shipley. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's incredible. So he fills in once in a while, and he reported on Twitter yesterday that it's plantar fasciitis. Now there are various forms of that. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's uh, there there there's the one that uh, you know lasts a week, and then there's the one that lasts five years. <laughs> you know, so uh, we, we'll yeah. find out which it is here. Uh, but it uh, it wasn't a progressive thing. It was supposedly a bad step or something. And what what is it? It's a stretching of the yeah, of the tendon down there and the uh. on the bottom. Is that what it is when it's severe? You yeah. know, Minnesota basically invented plantar fasciitis. Wally Zerbiak, or right? no, 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 no. Uh, Marty uh, Cordova. No, no, no. The guard, the guards for the uh, the the Michael Williams, Michael yeah. Williams, the guy who didn't know how to spell Michael, that that guy, he invented. He, nobody had ever heard of it. Nobody knew that there were like six eyes in the spelling of that thing, uh, and he got it. And uh, he was a pretty good player for them, and he basically was never, you know, he missed two thirds of two seasons, and then didn't. Didn't Terrell Brandon get it too? Somebody oh, else. He had he had foot problems for sure. Yeah. They had another. Uh, they had another. But but basically nobody ever heard it until Michael Williams came along. So Shannon uh, Stewart too, right? Did yeah, he, he had it. He had it too. He had it like, too. He had a great run, and the best the, the best. <laughs> Yao Ming, right? In case yeah. <laughs> is if the is if it snaps. 
So your best case is it snaps naturally because then the detachment actually fixes it. It uh, and uh, I, I don't think that uh, Shannon playing on the turf helped him much. So yeah. we'll yeah. see what this is. But there's, I would have guessed maybe uh, what uh, Royce Lewis will be here to play June first. What's the date today? Uh, you got the twenty fifth, May twenty fifth. Yeah, so you got to wait six more days. I'm, this may be re- Miranda's reprieve, reprieve to come back for a few games and. Uh, mm. Then you can Walk get Miranda, and then you can get Miranda and Farmer on the left side of the infield. Ooh, boy, that makes you excited, doesn't it? They, <laughs> they're tighten that. That'll tighten that up. Oof. I'm not much for Farmer in the field, and uh, especially at shortstop. So, uh, I, I I don't think this. Everybody's trying to compare this to the Mets situation. I don't think this is the the injury the Mets saw because it's a different foot. For one thing, it's a different foot than the uh, than the one. But uh, know, sometimes when you're favoring one foot, yeah, they, they are right. The uh, foot. I think we can make if, if you want to make it a narrative of ripping the twins, you can probably do that. But uh, I think the reason they should be ripped is the guy can't hit. But anyway, uh, that's uh, <laughs> uh, that. and then uh, Gallo is is Gallo hurt too? A hamstring or something or some kind of a hammy? So. No, they don't they, need uh, these guys. They hung. By the way, you guys baited me. I on write that down yesterday. <laughs> One of the worst bad beats ever, Pat. I said, despite this garbage lineup, I said the Twins will score at least seven runs and win the game. Yes. And Judd said, I don't know if that's a home run prediction. I, I think you need to make it eight for it to be yeah. a home oh, run. So, than like, so we got it. You I changed it to so eight, eight, and they win seven to one yesterday. That you should get. To, you should get a triple for that. I, w- I would think. But uh, <laughs> that's wrong. Uh, uh, it's an incorrect, <laughs> incorrect, <laughs> incorrect prediction. prediction. Yeah. yeah, I said at least eight <clears throat> runs, and they scored. That's, well, that's look the, at it this way: if uh, if the uh, if the Giants had made routine plays, it would have been three. So it was unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. What a clown show. The great John Miller, I, I told you guys last night, he says, and there were ex- two extremely unearned runs. In that <laughs> <inning>. he's, he's, <laughs> and then when the guy, did, did you see there yesterday when the guy down in the right field line made the one-handed catch reaching over his head? And they showed that on the Giants broadcast brought telecast and he, and Miller said not everybody's making errors today but it was uh, <laughs> god it was it was just all out of nowhere the giants just made three quick errors in that one inning to put the game away for the for the fighting twigs what happened with John why why did John Miller get bounced from ESPN what was the deal there I have we no know. idea maybe they didn't like a chubby you know chubby white bald white guy as uh, as the as the face I don't or maybe he went down with John Joe Morgan I I don't know why it was but uh, I thought he was great he's still great he's still he's still, he's still I, I went and talked to him for 10 minutes before the game the other day and he's he's just He's yeah, a hell of a guy. it was announced in November of 2010 that Miller and Morgan would not be returning to the Sunday night telecast for the 2011 season. Mi- okay, Miller was offered but declined a continued role with ESPN Radio. So oh, okay. maybe I think that was that when they moved Dan Schulman, Schulman, Schulman to the yeah. Schulman from right. radio to TV. Yeah, and and now he's the Toronto TV guy. He's terrific. Yeah. I don't know how he ended up back in. Why did he get fired? He, got he left. He left on his own. He he oh, voluntarily he? Just stopped doing baseball games. Yeah, for ESPN. Okay. Yeah. For ESPN, and he he does the Blue Jays. He's a Canadian. Maybe he's you know he wanted to, maybe he wanted to go home. I don't know what what it was. But uh, anyway, Barrios uh, Barrios pitching Sunday. But these guys, you looked at them. They scored twenty runs the other day. But they're they're twenty. They've got the same record as the Twins, I believe, twenty six and twenty four. They're pitching Gosman. Bassett, uh, Barrero, Barrios, and then they have uh, M- M- Manaya, Manaya, what? Not Manaya, M- Mona or whatever. The big guy, he was the two hundred and eighty pound guy who was great last year. Manoa, they, Alec Manoa, you're talking. Uh, about. Alec Manoa, and they they got five established starters, and they um, they they have not been nearly as good as they're supposed to be. Any everybody was picking them to unseat the Yankees in the uh in the east and that's not happening so yeah anyway. that that division is just ridiculous but yeah they still they got Vlad Jr. in that lineup Bo Bichette oh, it's they've Bichette. basically got the, the children of all the great 90s baseball hitters yeah. I it? love Bichette he is Bichette's a great, great. player I mean mm-hmm. Vladdy's great too but uh this guy this guy is great uh you know Vladdy is a 
Apparently, Vladdy's a great first baseman, even though he looks like a linebacker, you know. But he's he play, they they put him over at first, and he he can he he can make plays. They they should get rolling here pretty soon. This might be the weekend. <laughs> Who knows? Yes, it could be. And, 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 if, <laughs> and if it is the weekend, the Twins will still be fine, probably in this division. So and uh, but the, uh, the we'll have the Canadians in town. They'll be uh, they, oh, they always get good crowd. Memorial Day week. Now they don't have Memorial Day the same day we do. I don't think. But uh, but they're uh, you know they'll they'll be a the weekend Toronto good weather forecast. There'll be eight thousand Canadians down here. The Winnipeggers come down and drink all our beer, just like they do when yes. the Jets play here. Well, and they the, aren't uh, afraid of downtown Minneapolis like the rest true. of you idiots. So uh, I was going to say, one of the uh, most fun, and I don't remember it a lot, fun times I've ever had at Target Field is about four years ago, sitting next to a bunch of Blue Jays fans. And let's just say a lot of beers were purchased between the row between <laughs> the Blue Jays fans. Yeah, they're not, they're not, they're not worried about prices. You know, they, they all take their holidays – and the, the, they just look forward to their holidays and they, you know, they can retire early up there. Everybody, everybody wants to retire. They, they, it's like France now they're going, they're having these huge, the, the worst, they didn't protest the Nazis as much as they protest the raising of their retirement age from 62 <laughs> to 64. They all want to quit and go to that, go to the beach. You know, they're, they, you know, they, they, They've had these massive protests because the guy's raising the retirement age for to two years to sixty four. Mm. Work, you lazy Frenchman! <laughs> wow, <laughs> we're, we're the was... <laughs> p- p- people that work too hard. We're the complete morons. They're taking long vacations and retiring <laughs> at sixty two, and we're like, ah, oh, we got to go till we're in our seventies. <laughs> yes, damn it! Why? Why do? We, what do you want to quit for? I got nothing. TV. Else do, so. You can only watch so much TV. What the hell you want to quit? Streaming. For? Anyway, good weekend for the uh, Twins. It'll be interesting to see if they get twenty eight thousand. And they they didn't. I didn't look yesterday. What was the crowd yesterday? Because they 23, had 19, 23, 23 plus oh. highest for the yeah. Uh, series. Yeah, they, they didn't. They didn't. I don't know. People. Uh, everybody used to in the old days want to get home, be home for the holidays. Now they don't really want to be home for the holidays because everybody goes to the lake. You know, so. Uh, it's uh, it's not it's not a big bonanza for attendance like it used to be. Pat, do you want to? It's reckless speculation Thursday here across our uh, score and our shows. Would you would you like to engage? I have a question for you. Okay. All right. Uh, there's a Twitter account, and I believe it's at MLB Rooms, like R U M S MLB Rumors. Rumors, yeah. And uh, whoever runs this account tweeted something a few days ago that. According to my sources, I am hearing that the Dodgers, Mets, and Twins will be very active in the Shohei Otani trade deadline conversations. And then when people are like, the Twins, why would you put the Twins in that tweet? He followed up and said, I know people are asking why the Twins. According to the people I have been talking to, the Twins are looking to be very aggressive and have their eye on Shohei Otani. Would well, you make if it was you running the franchise? Would you make a play for? And you wouldn't have a chance to resign him, probably. But that's if, the if, if the like the the Angels again, if the playoffs started right now, would not be a wild card team for the thirteenth year in a row. Okay, would, is would he a free a agent? Push? Is he a free agent this year? Yes, this year. No, I wouldn't do it. Well, you know, it depends on you know if they take Kepler and. Somebody else, yeah. It, it, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Well, give you up could probably them. get them to like. You could probably. They'd have to. They'd have to start with three incredible young players, probably, and then if maybe there was like a, and take Kepler kind of a thing, but yeah. Well, no, no, I wouldn't do it for that. Now, if I could tell him, okay, not only are we going to trade for you, but we're going to be the team that gives you six hundred million dollars for ten years. Uh, would you sign that? Then I'd take it. Then I'd make the trade. Yes, if you could. And he, you know. and he wouldn't agree to that until no. he got to talk to ten other teams, right? Yes, yeah, that's true. I don't. I don't think he'd do it. But uh, you know, the tr- the trouble is, if you're home, if you got Otani pitching for you on September 9th on a Sunday afternoon. There are going to be still more people watching the Vikings than are watching you. So what, you know, there were, you know, plus, you know, 
I don't. I mean, no, I, I would not. It depends, you know. What, He'd move what he the needle. If, well, if you did, I mean, if you want to go down the path of, is he worth? Would Would you pay him fifty or sixty million dollars a year as a franchise? I don't know what the ticket math on that would be, but I can tell you he'd put more butts in the seats than Carlos Correa has in the first. Oh, oh, God, yes, yeah, Correa's, Correa's, Correa's done, done nothing as far as drawing people. But uh, yeah, I, I saw that too, and I said, you know, okay, I, I, the sweepstakes. I don't know how big a sweepstake it's going to be because nobody knows. You know, does does he want to go in New York? Does he what what market do the does it do his agents think they can maximize his uh, his income? You know, they not only getting a sixty million dollars salary for ten years, but another hundred million in the advertising every the year. Mets, year. The Mets might yeah, but, yeah that Cohen's guy's cr- that guy's crazy. You know, they they have put in new rules now for next for haven't they for how much it's going to cost you if you go over the second salary cap or something? Mm-hmm. I mean, it's. Uh, it's going to be, uh, but this guy, apparently Cohen doesn't really care. So they, they would probably be the favorites. George Steinbrenner would roll over in his grave if the Mets were to get, mm. uh, get Shohei Otani uh, instead of the Yankees one day. Ooh, George couldn't take that. Yeah, the Dodgers know. probably make sense because he can stay in L.A. L.A. has a history with, you know, Hideo Nomo 25 years ago, sort of launching the Japanese uh, mm-hmm. Baseball Great. wave, so Great he can. Up. Yeah, but I don't know how much money. You know, they they have uh, let a lot of people go. You know, now there's a lot of thought that one reason they didn't bring Bellinger and some of these people back was they're saving money for Otani. So mm-hmm. clear the we'll, uh, we'll find out, but uh, I don't know. I, uh, I it, did did they end up getting their name and more stuff than. You, you think makes sense so i don't know what who their big source is who, who's leaking info to who to make to get their name out there but uh, and it's not i mean the fact that i mean hell they've they made two different pushes for carlos correa they offered even when the other teams offered more money the twins offered like 300 million dollars or something to chris so they're mm-hmm. they're definitely you know the josh donaldson thing a few years ago they're definitely willing to sniff around i guess i think i mm-hmm. I think it's and i think it's more than just a pr move oh the twins are you know i don't I, I, josh, I, I it wouldn't shock me it wouldn't shock me the josh donaldson thing still is one of the great mysteries of my life you hit the most home runs in the history of baseball and you go three and out or two and out in the in the three and out in the postseason because your pitching isn't very good Let's go get another home run hitter who's thirty four years old and a jackass. What a way! When we do that, that would let's let's do that. Let's go get a let's go get a bad guy who's thirty some years old and who's only at, he's a decent third baseman, but he's going to miss a lot of games. Right, and he's going to hit home and he's a home run hitter. Let's let's do that. That made that never made any sense to me. He's never healthy too. Yeah, yeah he was never healthy. Well. Uh, wasn't it the first game he played in Milwaukee? He hit a double and pulled something. Oh, then he run into second. second season, but the first one was first season was twenty when he came in to feel the ball, or or he went back on a ball and he grabbed his leg, and that was it. For some reason, I wasn't at that game. Uh, I wasn't in the. I wasn't in front of a TV then. And uh, uh, when the game, when the first game of the season started, I was in my car, and glad he says. He's pulled up at second. <laughs> What's going on? He promised and glad he's in. He's pulled. Hey, he hit a double. Wow, wow. He's healthy. He pulled up at second. <laughs> First game of the season. Amazing. Unbelievable. All right, Pat, we got to get to our guy Doogie here for some uh, reckless scoops on a Thursday, but we'll catch you tomorrow. All right. Uh, Deckler, next time I'm out in Woodbury, I'll buy you a burger, okay? Yeah. I love that. Yeah, yeah, tell them. Food restaurant. Yeah, yeah, yeah Wahlburgers or someplace like that. Not a real expensive one. I like Wahlburgers. It's great. Let's go. Yeah. If they want to sponsor us, Wahlburger. Royce Declan here in. for Wahlburger. Yes. Wahlburger. <laughs> All right. Not 100. See ya. All right. Tomorrow. See you, Pat. All right. All right. All right. That's uh, Roycey Unchained here on Scorner.